What would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing. As a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I said, do you want to teach in a riding school? Uh, let's go through with it. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you can eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something is to be really with it. Then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So don't don't worry too much. That that's uh, everybody's. Uh, somebody's interested in everything, and anything you can be interested in, you'll find others. Will. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like, in order to go on spending things you don't like, doing things you don't like, and to teach your children to follow in the same track. See what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating to live the same sort of lives we are living in order that uh, we, they may justify themselves and find satisfaction in life by bringing up their children to bring up their children to do the same thing so it's all wretched no vomit it never gets there and so therefore it's so important to consider this question what do I desire what do I desire Now, my grandmother was a wonderful person. She taught me how to play the game Monopoly. She understood that the name of the game is to acquire. She would accumulate everything she could, and eventually she became the master of the board. And eventually, every time, she would take my last dollar, and I would quit in utter defeat. And then she would always say the same thing to me. She'd look at me and she'd say, One day, you'll learn to play the game. One summer, I played Monopoly with a neighbor almost every day, all day long. We'd play Monopoly for hours. And that summer, I learned to play the game. I came to understand the only way to win is to make a total commitment to acquisition. I came to understand that money and possessions, that's the way that you keep score. And by the end of that summer, I was more ruthless than my grandmother. I was ready to bend the rules if I had to to win that game. And I sat down with her to play that fall. I took everything she had. I destroyed her financially and psychologically. I watched her give her last dollar and quit in utter defeat. And then she had one more thing to teach me. Then she said, Now it all goes back in the box. All those houses and hotels. All the railroads and utility companies. All that property and all that wonderful money, now it all goes back in the box. I didn't want it to go back in the box. No, she said. None of it was really yours. You got all heated up about it for a while. But it was around a long time before you sat down at the board. And it will be here after you're gone. Players come, players go. But it all goes back in the box. Houses and cars, titles and clothes, filled barns, bulging portfolios, even your body. Because the fact is that everything I clutch and consume and hoard is going to go back in the box and I'm going to lose it all. That's not much of an ROI on that. Do you have to ask yourself? When you finally get the ultimate promotion, when you've made the ultimate purchase, when you buy the ultimate home, when you have stored up financial security and 
climb the ladder of success to the highest rung you can possibly climb it. And the thrill wears off. And it will wear off. Then what? How far do you have to walk down that road before you see where it leads? Surely you understand it'll never be enough. So you have to ask yourself the question, what matters?